Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author. But in this video, I'm not going to be writing puzzles. I'm going to be solving this, I hope, day 22 of the Exit the Game Advent Calendar of 2023, The Silent Storm. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the story for today, which is in this book. Now, hopefully we won't need the hints and solutions. So let's start by having a look at the story. Now, I had a quick look already and it is quite a long one today. So I won't read all of it out, but I'll give you the gist of it, which is that you will find yourself in a tunnel and it's dark. And you think you've bumped into something strange, but you soon realise it's a flashlight. You let the beam of light glide over the walls. You're in a tunnel. You go forward, but then you realise there are speakers even here, and you can hear Santa talking to you. I've understood the instruction manual for the security system, he says. When I pressed the emergency button, it turned us into a miniature snow globe, like a child's toy. What a brilliant trick. Now we need to get rid of the giant, which isn't a giant at all. It's actually a human looking down on what is now a snow globe, away from you. And Santa's plan is for you to turn on... The Northern Lights. Here we go. I just need to turn on the Northern Lights. That'll keep him busy and he'll leave the path and we should be free. Hurry and don't mess it up. So no pressure. You stare down the long dark tunnel ahead. Have you understood the situation correctly? Whether you stay as toy figures in a snow globe for the rest of your lives or go back to normal life is in your hands. The boss seems really confident in your abilities though. How the heck do you get out of this tunnel? Open door 22 and behind which are two riddle cards. V1, V2. Right, now yesterday we discovered that door 22 was up here. Here. So let's have a look and see what's actually inside it. Now, if I understood that correctly, we maybe were expecting it to be quite a dark room. Maybe we're going to have to shine a light in there. Let's open it. There we go. It is a dark room. Ah, oh, look, the first day without any picture on the back of the door. That's a change, isn't it? Right. Oh, and some stuff in there that shouldn't be in there. That's for another day. Let's take that out. Gone. Right. We have, yep, let's see what these cards have got to say for themselves. You won't find anything here alone. Follow three spiders, in bold, to their home. Look inside to find your clue. It's narrow, though. What should you do? Make the entrance wider, if you dare, to find the answer hidden there. Now you're inside. That can't be right. These tunnels are as dark as night. See those three candles on your table? And there were three candles at the top of the counter. Um... Shine the light there if you're able. The tunnel's lit. Now find the clue. The answer is ahead of you. Intriguing. Let's have a look inside the room first, maybe in case that helps. It's not completely black, that's for sure. I think this calls for my room cam. Right, so that is the view straight back into the room and the funny glows are just the light on the camera. Oh, there's something on the floor. Oh, it says code middle left right. Oh, so that's referring to the candles at the top of the calendar, which I haven't shown you yet, but I have shown on previous days. Um, it looks like there's nothing to see in the room itself. Yeah, nothing there. There's some candles here, here, and here at the top of the calendar, however. So, yes, here are those candles. So it doesn't look like there's much in the room. Let me just feel in here. I mean, it doesn't obviously feel like something's designed to pop out or anything. My almost, and seem to understand, I needed to reach inside the calendar. Now I noticed that not all the doors on the top row of the calendar have been opened. Um, because if they had, then I would think that perhaps I need to reach in here and do something with these candles. But I'm a bit afraid of pushing in here because, yeah, no, that's going to come into this unopened door. So that can't be surely what I need to do. And similarly, if this was the last door, I would think, well, maybe I need to go inside the calendar in some way. But that's perhaps what it means to make the entrances wider. Or maybe it does mean make the entrances wider. Maybe it means exactly make the entrances wider beneath the candles. And when it says shine the light, does that mean, like, actually shine a light with, for example, you know, so you can see through a bit of paper or something? Or does it mean, metaphorically, let the light in, open the door? Um, so possibly one option is I need to see under these candles. Now, if I'm going to do that, I have two candles that have got both doors open. So if I start digging around the calendar here and destroy things... Well, that's not going to do any real harm because I've already used these doors. Now, of course, I realise as I say all this that I have not paid any attention to follow three spiders to their home. Look inside to find your clue. OK, now you're inside. That can't be right. Ah, now look, maybe the spiders take me inside the calendar. I'm just guessing. Let's have a look. That's assuming that is that these are uh, real spiders. I mean, they're not obviously alive, but actual pictures of spiders. Not. It could be a metaphor for something. I'm going to have a look on the calendar for spiders first. Right, well, I had a quick look around the calendar. There were no pictures of spiders anywhere, at least not on the box anywhere. Um, and also, that wouldn't be very Christmassy. 
I'm wondering if, like, perhaps it's spiders, a reference to these walnuts. I don't see why it would be. Um, there's three of them, that's all. Uh, and there's three... Well, actually, there's four, I think. Yeah, there's a rolls of wood chippings or whatever. I don't know what the spiders reference is about, but I do see that on the tabs of the box, there are the edges of the northern lights here. And looking different on the other end. Yeah. That particularly looks like the Northern Lights, doesn't it? What does that say? Nothing to see here. That rather suggests I'm not supposed to open there. There's no actual spiders, are there? Let's just have a quick look. Nothing there. What about the other end? Oh, stop. No entry. It's interesting that that's different. Right, now I think I understand that I need to go inside the calendar and then look down or shine the light perhaps where the candles are to see something that's on the back of the paper or something. I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. But the only thing I don't understand is what the follow three spiders thing is doing. These aren't spiders. There's three of these. These aren't spiders though, are they? I, don't... I mean, I don't understand what it means by spiders. Just had a quick look in the dictionary to see if there's other meanings of spider that I might be relevant that I don't know of, and there aren't. Generically eight-legged things, um, snooker cue type things, snooker cue holders. Um, spiders. Don't understand this. Well, I'm mystified. The only thing I've really observed is that on the end tabs of the calendar, there are pictures of the Northern Lights. Um, but if I go any further and pull out the calendar, I will see inside the other door, so that can't be the right thing to do. I'm also wary of just bashing down on the candles at the top, because it says about shining the light. So if I shine a light to them, the light has to go somewhere. And some shining the light through the angled corner of the box, but the cardboard's quite thick. I'd need like a very high-powered light indeed for that, so that can't be right. I think I'm going to have to take a hint. Okay. So it's day 22 and I need to fold this up. You are very close to the end of your adventure. However, you're stuck in a dark tunnel and need to find three spiders. Look for the spiders on the outside of the advent calendar box. Have you got them? No, I guess I just didn't look hard enough. Then you also know what is meant by rather narrow entrance to the hiding place. Use gentle force. Okay, so apparently the only reason I'm stuck is because I am totally unobservant. To be fair, I haven't got much space in front of me here, so I haven't been moving the box very carefully. Right, well, I'm going to pause and look again more carefully. I am totally bewildered. I have just searched this box again. I cannot find a picture of a spider anywhere. But here we go again. You can find the spiders on the tabs for the calendar. No, I can't. Oh, so look, there are spiders here on these tabs here, here, and here. They're very, very dark. I, can, I can't really see them on my desk. You can see them on the camera. Um, but if I'd gone outside, perhaps I'd have seen them. Although also I was thinking that they need to be on something where I was um, going to push through. So I guess their home is where it goes into the tab here. The tab home here. So what am I doing? Am I pushing this open? Let's just tear here. This is very clever. Um, I regret that I did not get to solve that properly. Can you see in there? So these are the narrow tunnels it's talking about, I think. Oh, if I shine a light on the candle at the top, does it make something visible through there? Right, here we go. Moment of truth. There's a two at the end of that corridor, isn't there? You can just about see it. Okay, now let's try the next one. Oh, there we go. That works quite well. Press my iPhone against that. That is clearly a four. I have actually got the camera upside down here, I realise. Right, and now let's open the last tab here and look down. Hopefully this is another corridor here. One last time. Let's see if I can get the camera on the right side this time. Right, there is the corridor. Let's shine the light on the other candle. That's oh, a six, right? I think I just saw that. It's a six. Okay, there we go. I, I know it's not the case, but I sometimes feel like these are deliberately designed so I can't film them. Um, obviously, that's just nonsense. They're just incredibly inventive and clever. There we go, a six. Right, now what was that again about the door order that was in the room? Let's have a look. It was code middle left right. Okay, so that gives me an order in for uh, which way round to put the door. So this was the middle, this was the left, this was the right. So I read them in this order. So I just swapped the first two. Well, I spent about half an hour on this so far, but nearly all of that time has been trying to work out how to film those, those lights at the end of the tunnel, um, which I think I've done, and apparently in the, in the drama I have lost my decoding strip. So, what were the numbers again? 426. 426. 
There we go, and we know that's going to be correct because we've seen the numbers literally on the calendar. We start at door 22, which is here. We go upright, we go down right, and we go up. Ooh, I've lost the position, 426. So we should be triangle hexagon moon, and we have, and it's that door at the top. I'm glad I didn't open the calendar here, that would have been a disaster. And we can write 23 on here for our, I was going to say Christmas Eve, but that's nonsense, Christmas Eve is 24th, for our Christmas Eve Eve door, which we shall open tomorrow. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please join me tomorrow and I shall open that door and see what more incredibly inventive puzzle activities have been set for us by the very clever authors of this calendar. I don't know how they came up with that idea, looking down a corridor within the calendar. So inventive. Um, yeah, it continues to blow me away. If it blows you away, do please also comment down below. It would be lovely to know what you think of this. If you solved this yourself or you just watched along with me, either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do please like the video and also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me and it makes it easy to find future videos. So it's a double win, right? Um, either way, I guess that all pretty much remains for me to say is until I see you in a future video, take care and goodbye.